Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome back to another Inukiba Let's Play. As always, I am Inukiba, and today we are back on Beetleback Farm as Olivia, and we are, um, gonna keep going where we left off. Let me go ahead and plant the mixed seeds that we have here. Uh, as far as the plan for the day's episode, I'm not sure what we should do. We've got a couple of options. We can... We can go foraging. We could cut down, clean up the farm, or we could go fishing or mining. So we got we got all kinds of options. Um, guess I should pause while I'm not entirely sure. Oh gosh! I could go make a couple of delivery runs deliver some people some gifts. Um, I think these flowers that I grew in here are considered kind of like universal likes. Oh, I sold them, didn't I? Well, maybe these ones will count. Uh, I think we got a leaf in here for George. We got a daffodil for Caroline. Um, we can give Aunt Robin a piece of hardwood. Uh... Demetrius. I don't know what Uncle Demetrius likes. Uh, we can try to give him a parsnip. You know, worst case. And we'll grab a few of those. I mean, if he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. His family. Um. Yeah, let's just go around town. And have some gifts. Kind of see the townsfolk. Do a little bit of foraging on the way home. I see you down there. Ooh. Peek in and say hi to Linus. Hi, Linus. Staying out of the rain. What are you doing just staring at the wall? A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. Honestly? Valid. If rain's warm, super fucking comforting. Even if it's a little cold, it's not that bad. I, I personally can't stand cold. Oh, they're not open yet. Um. Hello! The rain doesn't stop me from getting a job done. Although the soggy wood isn't a joy to work with. I think it was raining the last time I came in here to say hi. Got you a piece of hardwood though. Uh, upgrade house. No thank you. So expensive. We could buy buy a tap from her, but we can make them now, so it'd be better to get them on our own efforts. We're insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. Maybe that's a good thing. Okay. He liked the hunting circle. Uh, Maru, can I come in? Nope. Okay. And Sabrina's not here. Oh no, she is. She's sleeping. Okay. Oh, hi, Michael. Oh. Time to go to mass. They give me good morals. I, for one, don't. 
Um, sure thing, Michael. Here. You don't know what she'll do with this. I'm sorry. I thought you would appreciate a honeysuckle. I clearly was wrong! No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ba da ba da. Ha da 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 ba. See what the mission for today is. I can put an iron bar under your pillow, George. I don't think I'll be able to help you there, George. Hi, Pierre. How you doing? I would say hi to Abigail, but I don't think I can go in her room. Uh, let's give you the gold star one here. The garden is happy today. And our water bill will be lower this month. Oh, hi Abigail. Um, I didn't bring anything for you. And I feel bad about that. Do you like this? Um, I don't think that's technically food, but, you know what, I used to take honeysuckle right off the bush and kind of just suck on them, so, that's kind of why they call them honeysuckles, because they're sweet and you suck on them. So, fair enough, fair. Have I caught an eel? That's a dumb question. I know I haven't caught an eel. <laughs> I could try to catch an eel while I'm here. I find it interesting that they chose to make that NPC just a guy rather than some sort of mythical creature. Or, you know, artifact or something. I've got one at home for that. I could get the reinforced rod. Catch more fish. You know, Lily, we're gonna... Because I'm not gonna be able to afford a bee house outright. I can't buy maple syrup, so what do I actually need money for other than upgrades? If I'm gonna have to make them myself anyway. I could use the money to buy tappers and save myself resources, but they're still quite expensive. Ah. I'm sure YouTube compression is going to hit these rainy episodes really hard. Can you stand fucking still, please? Because I need to get to level 3 farming. To make bee houses. I would need money for... flowers, like flower seeds, starters. So that would be one thing I would need to keep my money for, but those shouldn't be that expensive. Is it worth upgrading my fishing pole? Because 
because I'd like to get bees started before spring is over, because flowers take a long time to grow. This is a one-time purchase though, and it is an investment regardless. Since I'm not buying the fucking bee houses for that price. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I can make a I can make the money back. I can make the money back. I just feel like this is too much of an upgrade to pass on right now. We can afford it. It will be worth it. Actually, I think these Surimi sticks or whatever that I made uh, are worth quite a bit. So it's like, if I catch some fish, I can make the money back. I've never actually been in here. What do you sell? Uh, can I help you? Oops, I'm sorry. Don't you sell something? Oh, you do. Oh, you sell sprinklers. You sell them for quite cheap, actually. I wish more. Also, why does this have an art <laughs> that matches the, the profile pictures? Okay. That might not be a bad idea. What is this? Settlers of Ferngill, set up for three players. The game pieces are dusty. Oh. Viticulture, an introduction to commercial grape growing and wine production. Wine cellar. Surprisingly clean microwave. A lot of orange chicken in here. Sophia must like the stuff. Okay, good to know that, I guess. A moving box blocks your path. That? There's more going on here that I'm not entirely <laughs> aware of. Robin's axe. I actually kind of forgot that we were looking for that, so running across it is kind of nice. We're lucky there's some new bugs being spawned over here. Actually, you know what? We haven't gone into the deeper part of the woods in a while. Maybe we spend the rest of the today doing that. See any bug spawns over here? Uh, try to think of how well I can really get my farming experience up. I'm 
I mean, an easier, easy way to get the farming experience up would be to build a coop, which I think we have a job, or a mission for anyway. They want us to build a coop. I don't know if I have any bug theme friendly mods in right now that would add like things to the coop that we would consider on theme. Maybe I'll look into that. Maybe we'll aim for building a coop next episode. I might take a break after this episode. Because this would be third recording in the session. Um, maybe I'll take a break after this, look into what mods I have active. Cause I think I've got like a barn animal one, but I don't know about my coop. Um, maybe if we can find some like small critter on theme mod for the coop animal. For a goof animal, we can uh, look into that. Otherwise, I really don't see it being on theme to get a coop for anything. Uh, but that would be a quick way to get my farming experience up, petting the animals every day. And then once we got that... Because otherwise, right now, I'm just waiting on crops to grow. I can't really afford to just buy shit outright, so... I don't know. I think maybe after this episode, what I'll do is I'll look at my mods, figure out if there's any on-theme... Oh, hey, a dragonfly. Uh, Orchid Mantis? Orchid Mantis. Um... I'll see if there's any on-theme mods in my list, or if I can find any on-theme mods. Uh, and then... Oh, hey. It's too late for you. Uh, whether I find anything or not will kind of dictate how we continue forward, but I can spend... tomorrow in game in the mines to get a bit of a to get a bit of a copper because I want enough copper to get some more taps going because if we get some taps going we can progress once we hit that spot, you know? How did that not hit? And how did you hit me? Uh, today didn't really go according to plan, did it? I mean, I talked to a few people that I would need to. Oh shit, it's fucking... Jesus Christ, how did that happen? Machine, stone fence, sprinkler. I always find it how interesting that you get your mayonnaise machine, like right off the bat. Like they really do expect you to kind of just throw a coop up all the, like day four. Which I don't know if you could even do. I mean, I'm sure you could, but. Getting starting as a gardener, so I'll give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season, of course. Thank you, Granny. <laughs> and my inventory is full. So let's go ahead and move those. Actually, we'll want those back. old fishing rod away. Let's 
go ahead and sell our painted skimmer. We'll send that back to the research uh, facility. Find specimen there. We can give that to Gunther. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Willie has a cheap-ish recipe for these, so we'll keep a hold of that. People seem do seem to like these and these, so we'll keep a hold of those. Uh, actually, let me sell these Sarimis, see how much they go for. First strawberry harvest. Uh, we might actually, with these potatoes, we might get up to level 3. I'm not entirely sure there. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Looking at how much we're gaining per... Yeah, not, not even close. make an investment in our farming level and go purchase some parsnips from uh, Pierre. I know there's no crops there, but there will be. So let's go ahead and plant our mixed seeds here. Let's go buy... Jody, but I can sell the other one. Keep a hold of that. Oh, and I apparently need a tulip for that too. I don't think anybody needs strawberry. Oh, it's salmon berry season too. God damn it. I'm back, sorry about that. So, let's go ahead and pick up some salmon berries on the way to Robin's. Um, we will return the axe that we found, and then we will head into town to buy some things from Pierre. Olivia? Morris promised Joja would clear away this rock slide by now. Susan is trapped at home and can't get out except via train. Now he's telling me the cleanup operation is delayed until early summer. My hands are tied. As the mayor of Pelican Town, it's my duty to ensure everyone is safe. Morris and I will reach a resolution regarding the rock slide soon. I'm just relieved no one was hurt during it. I must be on my way, Olivia. Don't bother using your pickaxe to try to remove these rocks. It would take you months. Okay. You're no good for me. Um, hello, 
I found your axe. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off the other day. Or, toe off with the other one I was using. Thanks. What is that? I feel like that's unrelated. Um, let's actually check how much a coop would be. Since we were discussing that. 4,300 wood, 100 stone. Okay, um, I actually, I don't think there's anything that grows faster than parsnips. Aw, you do have arms, little bitty ones. Um, did I bring anything for this? I did. I should have brought this fish along with me. Am I growing green beans? I might not be growing green beans. Uh-oh. I think it's too late in the year to get them. remember if I am growing them or not. If not, oh well. We'll deal with that as we get to it. If I'm not mistaken, there is a cutscene. Where Leah gives you one in this? Oh, it is Olivia's birthday today. And you want six green slime slain. Okay. Uh, hello Abigail. Uh, you like these, right? Okay. Um, alright. We're gonna go ahead and sell you all of our strawberries. We'll sell you that. We'll sell these. Sell the potatoes. I'll keep the leak to give to George since I'm heading that direction. Um... We could... These take so long to grow, though. But I feel like I should make, wait until I have the ability to grow them inside, you know? Six days, six days, seven days. Oh no, we need this for a bundle, don't we? So we should not give that away. Ten days, four days. Let's go ahead and buy parsnip seeds. They take four days to grow. We know we can get that grown before spring is over. And that will definitely be enough to get our level up. Um, let me through. Let me through. God damn it. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. Oh, hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm an entomologist. Why did you become an entomologist? Uh, it's more real than living in the city. Uh, let's go ahead and give you this. You know. I also haven't given Harley a gift in the last few days, so let's go ahead and buy a coffee for her. So we know she likes coffee. And we like her.
she's not here. <laughs> um. No, oh, she's over here. Hello. We sell over-the-counter medicine at the clinic. Feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted. Uh, Will. Um, I think we gotta go say hi to Gunther. Okay. It is a lovely day. Oh, it is your birthday today. Do you like this? Thank you. Er, you're welcome. Shut up. Alrighty. Making our way around town. Walking fast. Faces are passing. We are not homebound yet. Quartz up here, it looks like. Ow. Let's go ahead and check the beach for forageables real quick. Willie. Oh. Weird. There's no way you made it from that corner. There's no way. Decent weather. Indeed. Hello, Sophia. Uh, you like this? Yay! Oh, I see a daffodil over here. Wait, can I? Oh, I can. Dope. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that that would be open there. Oh, it's not supposed to be. idea that was behind her house. What is this? Oh. Yeah, let's get paid for that. Uh, I guess the plan was to go mining today, but now it has devolved. Rocks. 
I'm kind of surprised that nothing spawns down in this area. I know I just get super quiet and like hyper focused sometimes, but uh, that's just how I do it. <laughs> I know that's probably really annoying like to watch. It's just like, oh, this guy stops talking all, this, all the time and like just sits there and does shit in game. So it's like, all you're hearing is just like me cutting down trees and shit, but it's just like I can't really commentate on that part, you know? And I'm not interesting enough to have stories to, to share while uh, doing those things, so kind of just how that happens. But I, I kind of look at it in like a a, a bit of a different way, honestly. Like for me, can I make fertilizer yet? I can. Might as well. Um, yeah, that needs to go in a bundle. That does not, apparently. Oh, I already got that. I could have gave that to Elaine or Willie then. Um, the way I look at it is... Like, it's okay. You don't have to, like, be kind of talking the entire time, even as a, you know, if you're, like, recording YouTube, you know? Um, you don't have to have constant talking. It's, like, okay to just have quiet. <laughs> um, that being said, I totally understand that, like, I am essentially providing... an entertainment service <laughs> not that I find my not that I believe people would think my shit is entertaining but like that is technically the point of this so it's just like I get that I should try to be engaging at all points but at the same time I just feel like that's not realistic uh I, I personally prefer more calm, laid back streams and live, or, you know, let's plays and stuff where they're kind of just playing the game and, you know, they're not like high energy and, oh my gosh, today on this episode we are going to do this and blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, sometimes it's cool to just chill, chill out. That's kind of how I record. I record the kind of content that I enjoy watching. Uh, which is probably boring for most people. So, I apologize for that. It is raining today, but that is where we're going to call it here. Um, thank you guys for watching. And maybe I'll try to be a bit more entertaining in the future. But as of right now, I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.